Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to the fifth video in the Trailblazers League. In this one I am going to do some insane PVM progress. But before that I just want to say I do have a Discord if you want to join that. The link to that is always at the top of the description. So I'm going to start off with trying to get the Dragon Boots from Spirit Soul Mages. So I just have to finish off this Fire Giant task and then we can get into it. 50 kills into the task, that is the Dragon Boots. And look at that upgrade, 3 melee strength, so nice. And it is a task, 100 points. 122 Cerberus, let's see what we can get in that. So many points here, you can get 250 points for killing Cerberus and then... Oh my god, really? Did I not get that? <laughs> There's a task to uh, kill the Cerberus boss before these ghosts spawn. So I guess you have to do it before he even does the uh, animation to spawn them. Here we go. That should be that task completed. Let's see. Yep, 250 points. So I just got 500 points basically. 250 for just killing it and 250 there. First crystal we get is the Primordial Crystal after only 104 KC. Beautiful upgrade. Let's go and make the boots. Let's get it done, let's make the Primordial Boots, they are such a good looking cosmetic wise as well, boots in the game in my opinion, and uh, that is also 250 points. First, Bandos Casey done on the grind for the Bandos chestplate and the task sets, hopefully I can get them pretty fast and get out of here. I don't really want the hilt right now, it's not massively important for the Nightmare, so let's hopefully get them. Okay, that didn't take long. Uh, 22 kills, Bandos Tassets. Such a good upgrade, look at that. How many points? 250 points. Now I only need the chest plate. Very nice, God Sword Shard 2 from a minion. So I only need 1 and 3 now. And then of course the hilt and I can get a God Sword. Good to collect them. God Sword Shard again, but it is the same one, so just a duplicate. Quite a few kills later, I get the Bandos boots. Unfortunately, I uh, picked them up before I could record, but it's actually not that bad. I can get the uh, core later from the Grotesque Guardians and get the really good tanking boots. As well as I do think it is a task to equip full Bandos, so I think that is included in that. Meaning I had to get them anyways for a lot of points. KC number 87, second Bandos boots, and by the way, with the changes to how the Bandos room works, you can actually, after a kill, teleport out, just uh, get full prayer, teleport back with the orb, and you're outside of the area, you can just go in again in a private, and the boss has already spawned, so you don't even have to wait the like one and a half minute respawn timer. Awesome, back to back Bandos boots, exactly what I wanted. 250 points for 100 Bandos kills but uh, still only a couple of boots and the tassets. Only one kill later, Bandos chestplate, that is everything. And I'm going to go to the bank and see if the boots is going to complete the set. I think I have a pair of Bandos boots, <laughs> let's equip them. And that is 500 points for the full set. With the full Bandos set completed, I'm now going to start killing the Abyssal Sire, which is a bit of a complex boss if you don't have Ancients, which I don't. You actually have to do 50 damage on the Sire to then be able to attack the res respiratory systems instead of using a shadow spell. I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this magic setup to do the 50 damage or maybe if I should go with a rune crossbow. Maybe try to get an armadil crossbow or uh, something like that and go with the ranged instead. I'm going to try both methods. And of course the reason I'm doing the Sire is for the Unsireds to get the bludgeon which is going to be an extremely good weapon for the Nightmare. Currently at 26 kills with no unsired yet, so the drop rate is 1 in 33, so I should get one pretty soon, according to the drop rate at least, but I ran out of food, so I gotta do some shark fishing. If I uh, don't get one unsired here, this is on the drop rate, onyx ball tips, 33 kills, so uh, any kills I get now is unlucky statistically if I get an unsired. Finally, uh, that actually took a while, that was on KC number 60, so almost double the drop rate, so let's see if we can get a first bludgeon piece, would be the best item to get. Really the worst thing I could get is probably a whip. Uh, I think there is a task for the abyssal dagger and of course there is a lot of points for the pet, but of course the best thing I really want is a bludgeon piece, so let's see what we get. And we get a bludgeon piece, perfect. 250 points and I only need two more now. I'm actually almost at 19,000 points and I'm going to get 250 points in like one more hit now. There we go, 99 strength. And this is my combat stats now, I have maxed melees, I have 83 ranged, I have 92 magic and I only have 66 prayer. 
But if I do Holy Grail, I will get a decent amount of experience there. I have some Dragon Bones banked. So I can get my prayer up as well pretty easily. There we go, second on on KC number 86. If uh, this one is a bludgeon piece, then we're really close to being done with it. Please don't be an Abyssal Whip, that is by far the worst thing I could get. Oh my god, why? That was a pretty fast unsired again, so I guess we're kind of on the drop right now. Actually a bit lucky that would have been, if on 99kc, would have been on the drop rate, so a bit lucky now I guess. Let's hopefully not get a whip again, would be pretty sad. Oh, second bludgeon piece, only one more to go. 250 points for 100 abyssal sire kills. 134kc, possibly the last unsired I need, let's hopefully get that last bludgeon piece. Here we go, let's see that spine. Please no Abyssal Whip again. Oh, uh, Abyssal Dagger, it's not what I wanted, but I do think that's a task actually to equip one. Yeah, 250 points, so I guess, well, it is definitely better than uh, a Whip at least. I'm actually using the Abyssal Dagger because the boss is weak to stab and I think it should be fine. Maybe it's a bit slower, but it is saving tentacle charges, so it's all good. But that is the task done and I still don't have my bludgeon, so I just have to pick up a new task. Got another one pretty fast, so let's hopefully see that last bludgeon piece. Hopefully uh, not any duplicate whips or daggers. Last bludgeon piece, please. Oh my goodness. Can this one be the last one on 168kc? I am getting a bit tired of this boss because doing this without Ancients is very slow, but it should be fine. Let's see that lovely bludgeon piece now so we can actually make it. Come on, man. Oh, that's a back-to-back -back unsired. Let's get the last piece now, hopefully. No more Abyssal Daggers this time. Please let it be the spine, the bludgeon. I just want to equip that. Oh my god, it is done. Okay, let's go and make the bludgeon. That is so nice that I finally got that after three abyssal daggers and a whip. With the three pieces, here we go. I am going to get the bludgeon back and there we go. That is the abyssal bludgeon. Let's equip it real quick. And I also, of course, have the three abyssal daggers here. That is an elite task for 250 points and I've actually barely seen- I don't think I've seen anyone with this weapon in the league so far. I'm sure there are people who have it, but it is very rare at this point. With that done, I'm going to end the video here. I'm really happy with having this done and that took me 169kc, so quite a while. And doing it without Ancient is a struggle. So that took me probably like 12 hours of doing the Abyssal Sire. No, not right now, Sandwich Lady. Something like that, and uh, it is very nice to have the Abyss Abyssal Bludgeon. It is going to be such an amazing weapon with the Fluid Strikes and Draining Strikes at the Nightmare. Now I just have to get a Fury, and after that, I think I can actually get into some Nightmare. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Take care.